Is that Brian Brown? I think it is. When you're running combine and have that view over there, that's just pretty awesome. That's almost as awesome as watching that Mike Les guy on YouTube. That is one good looking tractor and grain cart. Hey everybody, it is Farmhand Mike and on this fine Saturday morning, I am down near Chillicothe, Ohio. I got a call last night from this guy named Brian, uh, Brian's farming videos, and he's got this newfangled planter down there. I guess you can plant like really fast, like 10 mile an hour fast. He invited me down here to get some video and I heard a rumor he might even let me run the planter. Share that clip with yeah, me. Yeah, I can. I'm here with Brian, and we are getting some parts for his planter. And he went to reach in there, and there's a raccoon in here. And Brian doesn't have his camera, so he's going to rely on me for this footage. Yeah, just oh, yeah. Right Look at that. <laughs> Pretty lazy in the dark. Yeah, he don't even daylight. care. Come on, get out of there. He's not happy. <laughs> Come on, get out of there. Just get out of there. No, I don't. You. Are you kidding me, dude? He's an old one, too. Mangy looking. Yeah. I suppose you see a seat tube over there. <laughs> oh, here, I'm gonna. Got the whole seat tube or unit. Holy shit. Does somebody need a hug? Just get out of there. Come on. We're not gonna hurt you. We're gonna let you leave. Come on. Well, this is quite a predicament. <laughs> well, the other thing I know to do is just rip that side of the box off, then the box is destroyed. Yeah, right, and don't really want to get rabies. Have a heyday with this one. <laughs> he's nervous. I would be too. Yeah, I know. Just get out of there. I kind of wonder if he's caught in there. Yeah, there you go. Come on. Oh, he's an old mange. Oh, yeah, he's got a bad leg. Oh, go in the grain leg and die. Mythbuster Mike is here in Chillicothe, Ohio to find out if crazy things really do happen at Brian's Farming Videos farm or is it staged for YouTube? Well guys, this stuff really happens. You have rabid raccoons that just randomly show up in a box of planter parts. You have DJI Mavic Pro drones that just fall out of the sky in the middle of a field. And the last thing is can you effectively plant soybeans at speeds up to 10 miles per hour? Stay tuned for that one.
overall, I had a pretty good Saturday down here in Chillicothe, Ohio, getting to see this tractor and planter run in the field. A little bit about the tractor, this is the Fent Model 942, this is the biggest of the 900 series. This is powered with a 9 liter man 6 cylinder diesel engine with a max horsepower rating of 415. As far as the planter goes, I'm not an expert on it. Uh, if you want more uh, details on it, you're going to have to go to either Agco's website or Brian has a few videos on his channel now talking about it and so forth. What I did like about this planter, there's a lot of different things on it you don't see on other planters. Um, of course, these come from the factory with all the latest precision planting technology on them. That's pretty neat. Uh, another thing, this planter has technology that monitors the weight or the tire pressure, distributes that weight across the field as it automatically adjusts tire pressure up and down to reduce compaction. So I want to say when he told me when he pulled out on the road, the tires inflate up to 50 PSI. When you get in the field, they can go clear down to 15, and you will see the sidewalls actually pushed out on the tires. Uh, in the field. I know when I was running it and I was turning on the end row, I look back and you could just see the sidewalls pushed out. That's just to distribute that weight, give you more coverage across the field to reduce that compaction. Looks like according to the brochure that I read, this planter can come comes in eight different sizes or configurations. This is the Model 32. Uh, this is a 32 row planter on 15 inch spacings and they're planting soybeans with it here in the video That's what they were doing this entire day while I was here They will be planting corn with this later and you can pick up every other row so you can have a 16 row corn planter Which is uh, 40 foot wide Also in the brochure what I can see this planter weighs approximately 29,000 pounds This has two 65 bushel seed boxes on it and an optional thousand gallon liquid fertilizer tank Which this one has here in the video again i don't claim to be an expert on any of this here uh, brian invited me down here it was too wet to be in the fields up at home so it was a great opportunity we live about two hours apart uh, this part of ohio down here in chillicothe this is kind of where the flat land or flat part of ohio starts to meet the hill country you can see some of those hills in the background just a very pretty area from the state of Ohio. I like coming down here and I still got lots of good footage left in this video from the sky, from the ground, and also inside the cab of me running this tractor. Okay guys, Brian wanted some footage, so I'm driving his new Fent and Momentum Planner here, and he's out filming me. So I got a lot of drone footage. I actually crashed Brian's drone today. He trusted me to fly his drone. It's the same one I have, and we were in a field with some power lines, and I hit a power line. Only busted a propeller, so uh, I had some spares. I gave him one. I don't think he's bad at me. He was laughing about it. I don't know, but uh, anyways, we got lots of good footage today, and uh, I'm going to plant here, and Brian's going to film, so maybe I'll get a shot of him filming me, which that don't happen very often. Somebody filming me, it's usually the other way around. Anyways, planting soybeans. Farm hand to command center. There is a problem with row five. I repeat, there is a problem with row five. Is that Brian?
And that's going to do it for this 2020 planning video from Chillicothe, Ohio. I hope everybody enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And also, don't forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter at Farmhand Mike. <laughs>